Now, li- listen, Malachi 3, verse 8. Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. Why, why did we rob you? In tithes and offerings. You are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, even this whole nation. Now, Deuteronomy 27, verse 26 says, Cursed be he that confirmeth not all the words of this law to do them. So the law contains the curses that he's talking about because in the law, he tells you to pay tithes and offerings. So, it is in this scripture that we see something that can bring blessings. Because he says, you are cursed. But you know what? Bring the tithes into the storehouse. It means that the bringing the tithes and the offering is going to suck the curse. Which only a spiritual person will believe in. If you are not spiritual, you will not believe. You have all the usual arguments against paying tithes and giving offerings. I don't mind them. They are just doing this to get money from there. This, this, that. They are all thieves. The pastors are all this, that, that. It's a standard. It's like a poem. I can even write it for you. When you hear someone talking, ask him, should I write your poem for you? Do you write it and give it to him? I can complete it for you. Now, blessings shall come when you start paying tithes and offerings. Blessings. Now listen to this. The first one. Blessed shall thou be in the city and blessed shall thou be in the field. Wow. Now what does this mean? Blessed, see a city, the difference between a city and a field is that the city is more built up. Look at all this around us. It's, it's not built, there are not many buildings. So we are in the field now. But the city has many buildings. So in this life, you will have places that are more like the city as far as you are concerned. And places that are more like the field. So if we compare, let's say, London and Ghana. Ghana will be more of what? The field. Uh-huh. And then London or the UK will be more of what? The city. You see? True or not true? New York. It's another city compared with us here. So all over the world, you have two types of places. And he's saying that Blessed shall thou be in the city. That means that if you are in America, if you are in England, or in Sweden, you'll be blessed. But many people who are in England and America are not blessed. Even though they are there. You can be there, but you will not be blessed. People think, oh, I'm going to Ablochi. (laughs) <laughs> when I get to America all my problems are over huh when I get to Toronto <laughs> you know I've been a pastor of the same people for more than 35 years I've had the privilege of seeing people travel, go, come. Somehow, I've seen people migrate from Ghana, from the field to the city. And I've seen people migrate back from the city, back to the field. I've seen both. And I realized that, except you are blessed by God with a blessing, eh? it's not about being in the city or being in the field. Because you may be in the city but you will not see top at all. Yes. 